10 Scary Yet Beautiful Facts About Space and Us. Number 10. We are so small. Before we can truly grasp the gravity of the threats as well as the beauty that surrounds our planet, we must first realize just how small our planet is. The circumference of Earth at the equator is about 24,874 miles, and from the North Pole to the South Pole it is about 24,860 miles. Within our solar system we are the fourth largest planet. After us, we are dwarfed by Neptune, Saturn, Jupiter, and our own star, which is 93 million miles away from us, the Sun. The Sun is a pretty big star, but it's nowhere near the sizes of other stars that we know about. To name just a few larger stars for perspective, there is Eta Carinae, a star that is over 5 million times larger than our Sun. Betelgeuse, 300 times larger than Eta Carinae. If it were our sun, it would reach as far out as Jupiter. And then there's U.Y. Scuti, the largest star that we know of. U.Y. Scuti's mass is unknown, but before U.Y. Scuti comes V.Y. Canis Majoris, a star that is 5 billion times the size of our sun. We are a part of the Milky Way galaxy. There are trillions of stars in our galaxy, and nearly all of them are circled by at least one planet. Within our Milky Way galaxy, we are not the only solar system. So far, astronomers have found more than 500 solar systems and are discovering new ones every year. Scientists estimate that there may be tens of billions of solar systems in our galaxy alone. Traveling out 150,000 light years, you can see just how small even stars like UY Scuti is within our galaxy. It takes our sun 200 million years to complete an orbit of the Milky Way, and 2.5 million light years away is the Andromeda Galaxy, estimated to collide with our own galaxy in a few billion years. And using the Hubble Deep Field, or HDF, we can see a very small series of space and observations by the Hubble Space Telescope itself. It shows hundreds of galaxies. Five billion light years out is the cosmic web where billions and billions of galaxies are estimated to reside. And finally, 200 million light years out is the cosmic microwave background radiation afterglow is what we believe that started us. The only thing estimated to be left of the Big Bang. That is our universe. What is beyond this? Other universes? immeasurable heavens, we have discovered less than 0.1% and have found no other life. Are we all alone in this life, or are we in fact not alone? Either thought is terrifying. For now, all we know is that all injustices, political and religious existence theories or truths, all loves, sorrows, hopes and dreams, extinct species like the dinosaurs, and species yet to come. All pasts, presents, futures, thoughts, and actions only exist on our small and insignificant planet alone. This sort of scale, you truly start to think about what truly matters to you, what doesn't matter anymore, and what never did. What do you think? Number 9. Rogue planets. They are the loners of the universe, lost forever in space without a star to orbit. When planets form, they react with each other gravitationally, and it's entirely possible that when our own solar system formed, planets were actually kicked out into interstellar space. There could be as many as 200 billion rogue planets in our galaxy. That's as many rogue planets as there are stars in the sky, and one of them could be heading our way right now as you're watching this video. A collision with another planet sounds unlikely. Could this really happen? As a matter of fact, it already has. Four and a half million years ago, a young planet about the size of Mars collided with Earth over 25,000 miles per hour, 12 times the speed of a bullet. 
the impact destroyed the smaller planet. Earth survived, but barely. Afterwards, the entire surface of Earth was liquefied. Nothing but rock, lava, and fire was left everywhere. A true vision of absolute hell, the Earth at that time had only an atmosphere of molten rock. Debris that was blasted out 20,000 miles per hour began to orbit the Earth. Gravity began to bring the debris together. And the result was our moon. Number 8. Space Debris Sooner or later, human civilization must confront the very real asteroid and comet collision hazard that exists within space, or we will become extinct. On June 14, 2002, it was just another busy workday, with all the close calls and near misses that people all over the world have come to accept as the normal level of risk in everyday life. But on that day behind the sun, what no one saw coming and what no telescope could see behind the blinding light was an asteroid big enough to destroy an entire city. From behind the sun, asteroid 2002 MN came hurtling towards Earth, but it missed less than one third of the distance to Earth that the moon is. Nobody saw it pass either until three days later, when it emerged from Earth's shadow into the night sky going away. Though it is rare, it is very possible. The craters on our moon are evidence of asteroids, comets, and general debris hazards that do exist for us today. Billions of rocky fragments, building blocks of a planet that never quite came together when the solar system was formed, are out there, everywhere, ranging in sizes from rocks to pebbles to boulders, and some the size of Mount Everest. The reason as to why we haven't had any truly devastating catastrophes with asteroids within the past few million years is mostly because of Jupiter. Occasionally, Jupiter's enormous gravity draws an asteroid off course, causing it to crash into another asteroid and be destroyed, or to veer away into new orbits. It was no secret that a giant rock smashing into Earth was what wiped out the dinosaurs, and that particular rock was estimated to only be six miles wide. Number 7. The Sounds of Space It's a common misconception that there is no sound in space. Although space is a virtual vacuum, this does not mean that sound does not exist there. Sound does exist as electromagnetic vibrations. Through specially designed instruments such as the NASA Voyager, Engine 1, IC1, and Hawkeye space probes, we have used plasma wave antennas to record vibrations all within the ranges of human hearing. Now I'm going to show you the sounds of our sun, as well as all of the planets within our solar system, and I really would like some input on what you guys think, especially about Venus and Saturn. Take a listen. Number 6. The Super Void In 2004, 
astronomers discovered an empty section of space within the southern area of the galactic hemisphere where our Milky Way solar system and the Andromeda solar system reside, and that empty space is missing around 10,000 galaxies. Nicknamed the Cold Spot, this area is 1.8 billion light years across, and it is the largest known structure ever discovered in the universe. But scientists are baffled about what it is and why it's so barren. It sits in a region of space which is much colder than other parts of the universe, and although it is not a vacuum, it seems to have around 20% less matter than other regions. Although the Big Bang Theory allows for areas that are cooler and hotter, the size of the void does not fit with predicted models. Simply put, it is too big to exist. In this constellation, you can see superclusters of galaxies. The dark blue symbolizes areas that are more empty than others and much colder. The supervoid resides in the bottom right. The latest study of the cold spot suggests that it may be draining energy from light traveling through, which is why the area around it is so cold. In late 2007, it was argued by many scientists that this supervoid could be due to a cosmic texture, a remnant of a phase transition which is known to be transitions between solid, liquid, and gaseous states of matter. The thing is though, they believe it's a remnant of phase transitions that took place not any time recently, but from the very earliest stages of the universe. Number 5. The Multiverse when the ancients looked into the night sky, they believed that the heavens revolved around the earth and mankind, but over the centuries this view has changed drastically. We eventually learned about our solar system's existence and our Milky Way galaxy. Later we discovered that our universe was filled with other such galaxies. But it could be that we're committing the same error as our ancestors by thinking that our universe contains everything that there is. The word multiverse refers to the general idea that our universe might not be unique at all, and there may be other universes out there that defy all of our laws of nature. What is known as the anthropic principle is the idea that our universe is fine-tuned to allow humans to live. A small fiddle with the strength of gravity, for example, and life as we know it would not exist, a coincidence that does not sit easily with scientists. The concept of a multiverse neatly addresses this problem. With the infinite number of universes that could exist, we are simply living in the one that we are only able to, meaning that other universes, depending on their laws of natures and physics, could have very different biological life forms or maybe even paranormal entities. And then there's this theory, which is quite hard to put into words, so I will just keep it short. There are many universes, and everything is the same inside each one, meaning you exist on every single Earth. However, each outcome of your entire life is different. Whether you fail school or become top of your class, the jobs you receive, the people you love or lose, and any decision you've ever made or chose not to make would have a different outcome throughout your life. But unfortunately, we are only one human with only one outcome on this planet alone, meaning we could never actually prove this multiverse theory to be true, because no matter what, we are stuck with the outcome that we're going to have on this version of the universe. And the chances of one of those outcomes successfully proving this theory, unfortunately, are very remote. Number 4. A Supernova A supernova is a massive explosion generated by a dying star. A star in our galaxy goes supernova once every 100 years. The explosion hurls matter into space and can shine as brightly as an entire galaxy for short periods. Stars are giant nuclear reactors producing energy by fusing hydrogen into helium. Eventually, however, stars run out of hydrogen to fuse. When this occurs, the star begins to fuse helium into heavier metals such as iron. The star's core shrinks while its outer layers expand, creating a red giant that consumes surrounding planets. But what happens when the sun runs out of helium? Fusion simply ends in small stars like our sun. The star becomes a white dwarf and slowly fades away, but when a large star depletes its helium reserve, the core collapses within seconds, causing temperatures in excess of 1 billion degrees Fahrenheit. The outer layers of the stars collapse as well, only to explode outward in a massive explosion known as a supernova. 
what's left of the star's core becomes a dense neutron star and forms a black hole, an area of such densely packed matter that not even light escapes its gravitational pull. After a supernova, material expelled in the explosion may form nebulae, which are massive interstellar clouds of gas and dust. Over millions of years, gravity pulls nebulae material together into a dense, hot core called a protostar. Protostars eventually become newborn stars, and the newborn star's gravitational effects surrounding the nebulae material over time may form asteroids, comets, and even new planets. It is truly the circle of solar life. Number 3. The Dark Flow the eternal dance of light in the night sky has fascinated humankind for thousands of years, given birth to gods, myths, and finally to science. But now there are hints of strange movements in the heavens. If they can be verified, they will be the first hard evidence that there is an edge to the universe. Sasha Koshlinsky is a NASA astronomer. He claims to have detected a pattern of movements in the heavens so bizarre that it could revolutionize our theory on the universe, just as the Big Bang once did. Sasha wanted to check more precisely how fast and in what direction galaxies are moving to see if there might be any subtle deviations. He used an effect that can only be seen when clusters of galaxies are colliding. The gases around them get heated to millions of degrees. When light from the cosmic microwave background passes through a hot gas, it gets subtly altered. How much it changes depends on exactly how fast the gas and the galaxies it surrounds are moving. Sasha continually and methodically checked this data for over a year, and his data showed something unbelievable. All the galaxy clusters, no matter where they were in the sky, were all veering off to one side of the universe. It was as if they were being pulled towards a mysterious attractor beyond the visible edge of the universe. He called it Dark Flow. What do you think it is, and where is it pulling us to? Number 2. Supermassive Black Holes in nearly every large galaxy, astronomers have found evidence of black holes millions, even billions of times the mass of the sun. As I spoke about supernovas in number 4, black holes form from what is left of a star's core after it has gone supernova. The collapsed core of a dead star implodes and its weight is enough to squash all the atoms right down to their nuclei. The result? an ultra-dense ember called a neutron star. The density of a neutron star would be like taking a mountain and crushing it down with so much pressure into the size of a marble. Neutrons can withstand incredible pressures, but if enough matter falls onto them beyond a critical threshold, they can be crushed down to nothing. When that happens, a black hole is born. A black hole is gravity taken to the extreme. Its mass is literally packed into a point, and enshrouded within a dark sphere called the Event Horizon. That sphere is the point of no return. Any gas, stars, planets, or even light that falls in, disappears forever. Albert Einstein said that gravity is not just the attractive force of planets or stars like the sun. It is a warping of space and time what scientists call space-time, with the presence of massive objects. With the mass of a star squashed down to a deep point, a black hole is basically a deep puncture in space-time. If a future explorer prospecting for data tempted fate by traveling too close to a small black hole, they would be ripped to shreds immediately. However, a supermassive black hole has more spread-out gravity. The ride would be much smoother. What you'd find if you made it inside is the most extreme destination in all of the universe. Number 1. Further Speculations and Philosophies So what do we know? Honestly, not much, and won't, not for a long time at least. A time that expands so much farther after yours and my own lifetime. The real question is, is can we figure out everything there is to know before Earth is destroyed by some random, miraculous, terrifyingly beautiful act of this thing that we call the universe? 
After watching this video, look up into the night sky and allow yourself to see more than you did before. Do not feel small, insignificant, unimportant, or pointless. Instead, thank your eyes, your brain, and your body, your own silent companion throughout your life for allowing you consciousness at such an extraordinary time period where you and your fellow man can study these mysteries of existences that are so far away. And whatever you believe in, don't allow this video or others to ever discourage that belief, whether it be gods, science alone, aliens, the paranormal, or nothing. Instead, combine the knowledge we do know of with your own beliefs and theories to see what depths of your own mind you can then explore. We too, as human beings, are made up of the same stuff of galaxies. Maybe we're not supposed to know. Maybe the true meaning of life, while you have it, is to simply give it some meaning. Thank you so, so much for watching, everyone. Uh, I hope this video made you think a little, learn new things, and have some new questions. If any of that happened to you, please take a couple seconds to give this video a like, as it really will get it out there for others to see it too, which would really help me out a lot. I had such a wonderful time making this video, and it actually helped me uh, let go of a lot of struggles that I've been dealing with in my own life, and I hope that it can do the same with you. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram to keep up to date with the latest videos coming out on this channel, and if you know what I should count down next, post it in the comment section and I will definitely make it happen. Have a good day or night. Thanks guys.